Okay, this video is long overdue. Uh, this video is for Karen, who is a monthly member that um, we do like weekly Skype lessons. She's living in Texas. I think a bunch of you guys in the clubhouse probably know her. Um, she has chimed in on some things. I've done some videos for her in the past that, that are specifically for her, but I think you guys can benefit from too. So this one, especially this one, you guys can all benefit from. So I hope this one helps you, but I, I really think if you just really try what I'm about to suggest, it's gonna make a huge difference in your putting. So, number one, Karen asked me about some drills, some things she could work on in her putting. The number one thing I wanna to say to you guys is that we don't know how good of a putter you are with your original putter that you're using right now and with your current putting stroke. We don't know how good you are right now. We have no idea. And the reason we don't know is because I can say with certainty that the majority of golfers don't fully focus on their intention when they're putting. So if you're not fully focused on your intention when you're putting, then we can't, we can't see how good you can be. If you're thinking about your left shoulder on one putt, and on your next putt you're thinking about your right hand, and on your next putt you're thinking about the line, and on your next putt you're making sure that your stance is aligned. These are all separate or different intentions, and so you're, you're constantly just bouncing around idea to idea to idea. So we never really get a chance to see how good of a putter you could be if you would just focus on one intention. So that being said, the next question really I think is, what should that one intention be? And I will say that, I mean, I will go on record forever saying this. Your one intention in putting should be to roll the ball down the path that you visualize and have it end up in the hole. That's it. Now, how you get that done is there are a lot of different things. You can choose a certain putter that acts a certain way. You can uh, work on your stroke to make it perform a certain way. But at the end of the day, the only intention that you should be focusing on or the most important thing that you should be focusing on when you're putting is that path that you see that if you trace that line, you'll go into the hole. And this is no different than like anything else you do in your life. And I know it's cliche, but think about a free throw shot. You don't have to think about your fingertips when you shoot a free throw to, to create backspin on the ball, to create the perfect rotation on the ball. And even if you didn't have the perfect rotation on the ball, if your shot gets the ball in the hole, that's fine. Your technique is completely fine. So a free throw, throwing a piece of trash in the trash can, um, throwing a ball from here to there, from me to you, these things are things that as human beings we are built with the ability to manage. And over time, the more stuff that we do that's, that's sort of relative or compared to or similar to putting, the more stuff that we do over the course of our lives, the better we get at actually doing that, these things. So if I'm five years old and you ask me to throw a piece of trash in the trash can, my odds of making it are, I don't know, they're small probably, like one in five or something like that. But by the time I'm 30, if you give me that same piece of trash, I've got much better odds. It's not because I spent 25 years practicing my my arch to the trash can, it's because I lived for 25 years, I picked things up, I made them, I tossed them, and because of all of those experiences, I now have this really cool instinctive or innate ability to move objects in space toward a target. So if I've got that, if I've played golf for a few years, if I've played tennis, basketball, football, soccer, ping pong, anything where I've seen an object in space move toward a target, then I have a bunch of instinctive, innate ability when it comes to moving an object in space toward a target. So, it's a pretty long-winded thing to, way to say it, but I, I really want to impress this upon you. The number one most important thing you should be doing in your putting is visualizing the track or the path or the line that you, in, for, that you intend the ball to roll down to go into the hole. First, visualizing that path or that track. And number two, can instinctively and intuitively to roll the ball down that path into the hole. So Karen, specifically, I'm speaking to you now. You are a great golfer. You're playing the best golf of your life. This has been an awesome winter. I'm really happy that I got to be a part of it. I'm, I'm loving hearing your scores and these stories and you're finishing better than you've ever finished. When it comes to putting, now that you are hitting more greens in regulation, now that you are giving yourself all these opportunities, when it comes to putting, I want you to spend the next 30 days with only that intention. So we're gonna dump your shoulder thoughts, we're gonna dump the triangle, we're gonna forget about rocking, we're gonna forget about all that stuff, and we're just gonna focus on, if I asked you the question, 
Karen, can you imagine a path for this ball to roll down and go in the hole? If, you can, if I ask you that question, the picture that you see after I ask you that question, that's the thing I want you to focus on. And once you can see it, once you can see the path from the ball to the hole, no matter how you have to set up to see it, no matter how you have to hold the putter, left hand low, right hand, none of that matters. As long as you can see the path going down the line into the hole, then get in a position where you think you can hit this ball down that path into the hole. And that's it. Just completely be instinctive, intuitive, visual, kinesthetic, all of these things that are innate in us and instinctual in us, be that. Let your best golfer show up. Now, if you do this for 30 days and you don't see any improvement in your putting, which I know won't happen, but if you do this, if you commit to this for 30 days and you don't see improvement in your putting, we can see what's, if there's something weird about your putter or about the grip on your putter or, I don't know, maybe your balls aren't round or, or something. But I am certain, so certain, Karen, if you do this for 30 days, you'll never ask about another putting tip again. So I'll recap it one more time. The intention is to first be able to see, answer that question. If, if I wanted to see this ball rolling down this path and going in the hole, what would that look like? Answer that question with a picture. So you see this ball rolling down the path into the hole. Once you see it, your only job, the only thing that you have left to do is find a way to roll the ball down that path into that hole. Now, I made a, a Green Master course um, on the website on thesamegoldengolf.com that all of you guys should have access to if you're in the clubhouse. If you don't have access to it or you haven't seen it, um, shoot me a quick message and I'll make sure that you do. In that course, I remember going through this process and talking about how important this visualization was and talking about how we just, we ask that question, we find that picture. We, once we have that picture, we completely just do everything we can to get the ball rolling down the path. And I had about a 15 foot putt, I think, that I had set up. And I'm doing this video and it's like in the winter in Missouri, so it wasn't awesome to be out. And before I walked up there, I was like, Sam, do this well. Do this as well as you can do it so that you can make this putt, so that this video can be that, more, that much more powerful, so people will actually believe you. And I made it. And I made it because I, I know that if I go through this process, if I say to myself, what would it look like to go in? I know that I've got enough experience on the golf course to imagine the right line, the right path, barring some spike mark or something. So if I can see the path that this ball needs to roll on, then really all I can do is trust my ability to roll the ball on the path. I don't need like a bunch of different techniques. I don't need a special putter. I just need to be able to see that path clearly and then let my instincts take over to roll the ball on that path. Okay, that's it. I know this is a crazy long video and, and maybe it needed to be and I hope, I hope that you guys really, really listen to it because this is ultimately the most important thing that you can possibly do when it comes to becoming a better putter.